Hello everyone, NBE817 here, and um, today, if you watched the last episode, as I promised, we are going to go find a pet ocelot, and um, I caught a few fish off camera, I caught like six off camera, and I'm proud to say that I actually found, like, a few things. I told you that sometimes you can just find random stuff lying in the ocean. I found a name tag, another saddle, um, and a water bottle. I also have some salmon, which can be cooked. Um, I have the raw cod here. So, what I'm going to do is go into the jungle, because I have found a jungle near, um near here so we are going to go to that jungle and yeah ooh a giant hole oh, I don't think I've ever been there before so that's a ravine right there and there's the jungle you see that giant tree that's where the jungle is and here is actually the ravine that we went down I remember that all right so now that we're done there, we can head over this way, and the jungle is right here. Now, I just want to point something out. You see the uh, this tree right here? This is an oak. That's a birch. And these are jungle trees. Guys, these things are huge. And when I say huge, I mean huge. Like, look at these things. You know, if I knew that this was here before, I probably would have made a treehouse instead of Cozy Cottage. Just saying. So, in the jungle is the only place that Oshlach can actually be found. And there is a chance that we might actually find a jungle temple. So, if we do find an Oshlach, then we may be able to tame it. Let me turn up my volume a little bit. So, we may be able to hear that. They do meow like a cat. And if we find one, we might be able to tame one and turn it into a cat. So, yeah. And I found a name tag, which means that we can actually name the ocelot if I make an anvil. So, that would be fun. And I actually, yeah, I have the fish in my inventory. Um, so, yeah. Ooh, and melons. Don't forget the melons. Melons are awesome. Let's mine them. Actually, no. Never mine a melon with your pickaxe, kids. Do it with an axe. Does it way more faster and it's way more efficient. And we can actually make a melon farm, or if you want to, you can basically just eat them. I don't think that they actually heal a lot of hunger points, but they are a good source of food. Yeah, they only heal one half of a hunger point. Or... Actually, one and a half of a hunger point. So, yeah. And here we have some little sheepies. Little sheepies. That sounds weird. In the jungle. And hopefully, instead of sheep, we can find an ocelot. What I really don't like about jungles is that when you're doing stuff, uh, like when you're looking for an ocelot, you always get confused by the dandelions. Um, yeah. You, you, because ocelots are yellow. So, yeah. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Oh, well, in that case, I'll just, I'll just leave you be. Yeah, yeah. You, you go into that cave and get eaten by zombies. That was hilarious. No, not hilarious, but. Alright, let's keep looking for the little kitty. Good thing I have torches. Um, these, I didn't mean to do that. Um, these fish can actually be cooked and eaten. Um, yeah. So. Is that a skeleton? Yes, it is. I did not bring a lot of arrows. I probably should have. Whoa! Forest fire! Guys, there's a forest fire over there! 
jump. Stuck the landing. Why is there a floating block right there? Black. Let's head over here and watch the trees burn. Not that I like. <gasps> ocelot! Guys, look at that! Alright, what you want to do to tame an ocelot is take out your fish, go slowly over to it. It'll start walking slowly over to you. Just make sure you're pressing shift, and then right when it comes close enough, click on it a bunch of times with your fish. No! Oh, I ran away! Oh, man. Alright. Let's go back over to it. Come on. Where are you? It's coming back over. Come on. Yes! We got one! Look, it's a cat! Guys, it's a cat! We got a little buddy! And he meows! Hi, buddy! You're cute. And um, he will follow me wherever I go. I can make him sit and unsit. If he's sitting, oh god, sorry. If he's sitting, I'm sorry, buddy. If he's sitting, then he cannot be. Then he can't teleport. If then um, he will not follow me. So if I walk over here, he does not teleport to me. If I walk over here now, if I walk over here now, he does follow me. And um, if the if um, a cat or a wolf actually, they basically do the same thing, is too far away from you, then they will automatically teleport to you, and they stay loyal. So they also like killing chickens. And they also scare away creepers, which is very good. So, we're going to head over here and, whoa, Misha. And there's the forest fire. Look, a giant jungle tree is burning. Come on, come on. And they can drown. Okay, come on, buddy. Over here. And he'll teleport. We can go watch the forest fire together. Oh yeah, see, he just teleported. Watch, if I get too far away, he will, in fact, teleport to me. So if I go all the way over here, and I don't know why I didn't teleport. Come on. Come on. All right, I'll be here in a second. And here's the forest fire. It's caused by a dead lava. I don't back you lava. Ah, kitty! Do not stay in the water too long. You know that you that water is bad. Okay, come up, come up, come up. Don't drown, don't drown. If you drown, I will be very sad. And will be mad that I wasted a bunch of fish on you. Because that's a little mean. Come on. Let's just go over here. I want to show you your new place in life. Come on. And um, there are actually different types of cats. So I just got one of the many types. There are about three types of cats. So I got this pattern, which, yeah, it's kind of a whitish gray color. If you, yeah, see, he just teleported. He just teleported. So, if you, um, owie, Skellington. Wait, did I bring my shield? Oh my god, I'm stupid. Why wouldn't I bring my shield? Okay. Protect the cat at all costs. Protect the cat, protect the cat, protect the cat, protect the cat. Okay, he's dead. Alright, come on. I, don't, I haven't decided what I'm going to name you yet. Hmm. Ah, witches, witches, witches. Wait, where are you, kitty? Oh, there you are. Okay. Ah, spider. Alright. No, kitty, come back. Okay, I 
think that we're gonna have to set up shelter here for the night. I know I say never to dig straight down, but that made me an, ex an exception. I'm just gonna make a little hidey hole for the night. Cause I don't want any of them bad mobs to get me. And yeah, come on, cat, come on. You need to come down here. Um, the other types of cat actually are um, a black cat or a kind of tang colored cat. Ah, sand. That's why you never dig straight up. That's one of the reasons. All right, there he is. And the thing about cats, they don't take fall damage because you know the expression, cats always fall on their feet. So I can just push him down this hole and he won't take any fall damage. So come on, I'm gonna have to sit you down. Oh no, zombie. Alright, just get down there. Alright. Alright, buddy. Me and you are down here for the long haul. Alright guys, I'm just going to edit this part out, and uh, I will come back when it is morning. So, I'll see you then. Alright guys, I am back. And hopefully we can make it out of the jungle alive. That is our number one goal for today. I am just going to build up, and you will teleport to me, I think. I'll block that up, and since I un... Since I made you on sit, yeah, you just helped. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of this. There, okay. So, I don't mean to do that. What the heck? Darn it, okay. Let's, I, I don't mean to shoot that. Alright, I'm gonna click that arrow though. Alright, let's go, whatever your name is, because I haven't named you yet. Ow, Skellington. Protect the cat. Ah, what a loser. Alright, he's dead. Let's just walk over here now. Come on, Temmie? No, not Temmie. Not Temmy. Those of you have, who have played Undertale, no Temmy. Or Tammy, or whatever her name is pronounced as. Cactus may help. Get you in your quest of Minecraftia. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. Alright. Hey, a stick! Wait, what? Dead bushes drop sticks? I did not know that. Maybe it's like how when you hit a cobweb with a sword, it drops string. Come on, Norbit. No. Not Norbit. I don't like the name Norbit. I've had a long history with the name Norbit. I want more sticks. Ooh, I gave me two sticks. Stick, stick. Hey, why aren't you giving me no sticks? Stick, stick. Darn it. This is a random chance. Unlike cobwebs, cobwebs like literally always give you sticks. I mean, cobwebs always give you strings, like no matter what. Wait, what? Ow. Ah! 
<laughs> oh, there you are. Um, Ichabod. No, Alfonso. How about now? Ooh, Alfonso reminds me of. Um, I forget his name. The train driver from Spirit Tracks. The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Alfonso, the guy who. I haven't actually played that game before. Um, all I know is that there's a train driver named Alfonso. Alright, we are out of that biome now. Out of the jungle, and now we can head back to Whittle Cozy Cotton. Kitty? No, there you are. Chickens are all spies. I've learned that from Paul Swiss Jr. He's my role model. Alright, so now we will go back to the cozy cottage. And yeah, I think that I'm probably, I don't even know how long this video is. Is there even a way to check? Can I check? No, I can't. Alright. Well, um, I guess we're just going to introduce you to the chickenses. I haven't actually killed any chicken in a while. Alright, we're going to kill chickens. I'm going to see if the cat actually wants to kill these chickens. Alright, let's go inside here. No, chickens! Chickens! Why did I not expect that to happen? Alright, I need to lower all of these chickens back in. Kitty, kill the chickens. Kitty, kill the chickens. Oh, you don't kill chickens? I didn't know that. Alright, let's get out. I thought I had some seeds. Yes, I do. Okay, let's get these seeds. Come on, chickens. Come on. Everybody in. Oh, no! Stupid chicken just... Do you guys follow? No, you don't. No, chicken just... Why you gotta be so forced to wait in? No! Oh, my... I hate this scroll wheel thingy. Chickens! Chickens! Okay. Come on, chicken. This way. Yes, chicken, yes. Where'd the other one go? Alright, I, I lose one chicken. It's not the end of the world. Alright, close the door. There, okay. Now I'm going to go over and kill the chicken that escaped if I can ever find. Alright, let's go, little kitty cat. And real quick. I'm gonna craft an anvil. Come on. Come on, cat. Where are you, cat? There you are. Okay. I promise that I'll be like the saddest person ever if I accidentally try to make my cat sit and then my stupid mouse makes it so that I hit it and with this enchanted diamond sword I kill the cat. That would make me so sad. Right now I can just push him in because she would not move. And here we are in your new home, kitty. I'm gonna craft an anvil really quick. And didn't I have some iron in here? Yes, I did. I had some iron in here too. We're gonna need about 27 pieces, I think. Because we need three iron blocks. Well, actually, no, not 27. We're actually going to need 30. And then, actually, no, we're going to need 31. And there's the anvil. Let's put it right here next to you. And it makes that sound. I like that sound. And, um... 
like the um, like the enchanting table. This takes up um, uh, enchantment it, um, experience. So, what to name him? You know, I'm, I'm, I, I, I honestly am kind of leaning towards Alfonso, because I have a pencil named Alfonso. That, that's just a little thing you need to know about me. Um, what to name the kitty? Hmm, should we name you Meow? Let's see, what to name him? How about... Don't know, David. No, Lucas. No, not Lucas. Lucas. No, Lucas. Um, there's the chicken. Whatever. I gotta know what to name this chicken. I mean, this cat. Uh, how about Elon? Or Elon? Yeah, I gotta do it. Elon. That that that's Ellen. How do you spell Elon? E no. Elon. I'm just, that's just how I'm gonna spell it. Elon. Okay, Elon. Your new name is Elon. Elon the cat. Okay, Elon, I hope you enjoy your new home. Real quick, before we end off the episode, I just want to collect all this wheat. Okay, we got some wheat up in here. We should craft some bread too. Maybe in the next episode we'll find a horse. Oh, hey, kitty. Don't you dare hit my cat, you stupid zombie. That reference was not intended to the game. Stupid zombie. Alright, back to topic. Let's just put down all this stuff. Actually, speaking of which, speaking of wheat, real quick... Before I do anything, I just want to make sure that nothing like fell in the water, because that is a thing that can happen. Um, when you're getting your crops, stuff can like just fall in the water and it's undetectable. It's happened to me actually a few times. So no, hey Elon, how you doing, buddy? Die. Watch on, uh, watch on, uh, watch on, die. Alright, so now we're done that, let's finish planting the crops. And I think that's going to be about it for this episode, you guys. Um, let me go inside with Elon. Elon, come on, let's go inside. Alright, come on, Elon. Elon. Okay, good. Good kitty. Alright, Elon. So. Hello, people. This is the end of the video. I don't know why I said hello. So. Yeah, yeah. Good, good point, Elon. I don't know. Um, where are you going, Elon? We need to. We need to be in the out picture all right cool. okay so me and elon wish you all a farewell and uh we will see you in the next episode i'm thinking that maybe in the next episode we'll do a little bit of farming like make sugar cane farms maybe we'll go mining or something like that even though we did just recently go mining um what i really want to do eventually is look for some diamonds even though we already have diamonds. What I really want to do eventually is kill the wither boss.
Yeah, why are you looking at me like that? Why are you looking at a little fun fact when cats jump on chat and jump up jump up on chests they sit like automatically as you can see I did not like make them sit right there as you jumped on. So um back to top. If you did enjoy the video please drop a drop please do drop a like, um subscribe if you want to. Um leave a comment asking any questions about cats or anything like that. And, um, I will see you on the next video. So, yeah.